This scenario is exactly the same as that in the previous lesson, but we will use a different method to solve the problem. This large pulley has an outer radius of 0.25 meters. A string wrapping around the part with 0.2 meter radius is attached to a 0.3 kilogram hanging box. The string does not slip on the pulley, and the friction at the pulley's axle is negligible. After released from rest, the box takes 1.1 second to land 1.5 meters below. Find the landing speed of the box and the rotational inertia of the pulley. The box accelerates down at a constant rate. So it's constant acceleration motion and we already know three things. We know it starts from rest, so initial velocity is zero. The displacement is 1.5 meters, and the time is 1.1 seconds. So if we want the landing speed, that is the speed at the end, we want the final velocity. Which equation conveniently relates all of these? It's the delta x equals to the average velocity times time. And uh, for constant acceleration motion, the average velocity is the average of the initial and the final velocities. So average velocity times time. So the delta x, 1.5, equals to the average velocity, the initial, plus the final divided by 2 times the time, 1.1. So the final velocity, the landing speed, is 2.73 meters per second. To find the rotational inertia of the pulley, we can choose to use the kinematics again to find the acceleration, and then write the force and torque equation, and then find the rotational inertia. Or, since we already know the final speed, if we know the speed, we can use the conservation of energy to find the rotational inertia. There's no friction or air resistance to take the mechanical energy away, so we should have the E initial equals to E final. The system starts at rest, so there's no kinetic energy, but it starts out with a box that's uh, up high, so it starts with the MGY. And then at the end, the box is uh, down here, no more MGY, but the box would be moving at this speed and the pulley would be rotating. So in the end, we have kinetic energy. Since the box does translational motion, there is the translational kinetic energy of the box. And the pulley does rotational motion, so we have the rotational kinetic energy of the pulley. Initially, we have 0.3 kilograms. I'm just going to round the G to 10, and the height above ground is 1.5. The translational kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. The mass that's doing translational motion is 0.3. In the end, the speed of the box is 2.73. And then the rotational kinetic energy of the pulley, which is one-half I omega squared. The rotational inertia is something we're looking for. And what is the omega? What is the angular speed of the pulley? The pulley is rotating about a fixed axis, and the string does not slip. So there's a fixed relationship between the translational motion and the rotational motion. The speed is r times omega. So the speed is 2.73, which should equal to r, the radius where the string wraps around is 0.2 meters, not the 0.25 meters. So r is 0.2 times the omega. So what is omega? It is the speed 2.73 divided by r. So it is 2.73 divided by 0.2. We have one equation with one unknown, so we can solve for the i. 
and we should be able to find the i to be 0 0.0364 and that's uh, again the standard unit kilograms times uh, meter squared and of course this is exactly the same answer as the one we found in the last lesson